Good morning, it's coffee time. And this is how I get my people to choose the home that they are going to buy. Every time I show them a home, I keep it on my list and I write down the notes of what they thought about it, what I thought about it. Then when I cho go show them the next home, then we stop before we leave and I tell them, okay, let's compare the two homes we just saw. If these were the only two homes on the market, which one would you buy and why? And we have that conversation. And then I write the notes for the second one. And then we go to the third one. And after the showing, we do the same thing. Okay, if these were the only two homes on the market, which one would you buy and why? And then as time goes by, as time goes on, sometimes they'll say, oh, well, this home is too small. And then I can bring up my notes on another one and say, well, when it was this one, it wasn't too small. So is it too small? Let's address the square footage issue. Or if they're looking at a perfect home and then they say, well, it's perfect, but it doesn't have four bathrooms. Well, you also love this one and this one doesn't have four bathrooms. So what is the actual problem? And I help people kind of talk about these issues while I'm there and compare homes to each other, not compare homes to something that they think is out there. Compare homes to what is actually out there, actually in their location, actually in their price range. So for this couple, I showed them 18 homes. It took 18 homes for them to pick one over the span of two days, um, all in the same price range, all similar location, lots of notes, but you know, that's how I get them to narrow it down and I help them move their process along because we're not out here just opening doors. It's a process and we're moving the process along.